Okay, guys, so I'm going to share a recipe that I learned online on YouTube that is supposed to help to kill things like aphids, spider mites, and I'm hoping also leaf miners because right now I have a problem with leaf miners in my garden. So I'm seeing it on my tomato plants. Um, and it, what it does, it actually leaves like these lines. It looks like, you know, like, like if it's... Um, the insect is mining the leaf itself um, and I'm also seeing evidence of it on my bush beans so my bush beans are like the leaves are actually dying you know because of it so I'm gonna mix up this formula like I said I learned it on on YouTube um, to, to spray my leaves now what I'm mixing up here when you spray your plants, you have to spray it late in the evening or very early in the morning. I would recommend that you do it late in the evening. Reason why, if you do this during the day, it can burn your leaves of your plants and you don't want that. So the first thing, um, if you see evidence of leaf miners, like you see it on the leaves, cut of all those leaves um, I am sorry I didn't show you guys that um, I did go through my garden a while ago and I cut off all of them and I forgot to show you I might go I don't know if I left maybe one that I missed so maybe I will go back in the garden and see if I find one that I can show you but um yeah, so I'm, I'm mixing up this formula or concoction in order to, to spray my plants later. Because like I said, if you do this when the sun is hot, it's going to burn your leaves, okay? So you want to get a, a bottle like this, okay? So this is a spray bottle. This is a spray bottle that has the, a pump on it. So you want to fill it up with two quarts or two liters of water so I have two liters of water here and you want to get Dr. Wood's peppermint castile soap okay the peppermint and the tea tree all right I will leave a link in the description showing you where you can get these so you have this you're going to be putting some isopropyl alcohol and this is 70 percent and we're going to be putting some hydrogen peroxide okay all right so we have our two liters of water here so what i'm going to do is measure out a quarter cup of the peppermint Okay, so we have a quarter cup here. It's very windy right now, guys. Pour that in. Okay, now we want to add a quarter cup of the tea tree. All right, so now we're going to put a, a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. And we're going to put one cup of the alcohol. Oh, that wind is so strong. Oh, no, no. And that was not, I spilled a lot of it. Oh my goodness, it's, it's running down my table. Put the rest of it here, because I spilled some. 
well I need to wipe this up all right so what we do now is we put this back on <gasps> oops oh my goodness it spilled a little bit all right we will have to um, wipe up this again because I am spilling more stuff okay so after we put it on obviously you want to mix it okay I want to mix it really well and then like I said in the cool of the evening you would spray your plants with this little concoction so if you see aphids you spray it spider mites leaf miners so forth spray it um, in the in the late evening in order to help to kill all these pests that we have in our gardens okay guys so this is how a leaf this is how you know you have leaf miners you see what they do to the leaves you get all these sort of squiggly things on the leaves can you see that like on this so that is evidence of what is called leaf miners so i'm going to have to pinch this off because it would have we don't want to leave leave this on the plant you want to get rid of it so that is what um that's how you could identify leaf miners we have another example here of what the leaf miners what it does to your leaves Thank you.